would like to talk about nerve mobility exercises. In general, the nerves in our arms and legs all come from the spine. Sometimes these nerves might get caught. So for example, the nerves in my arm, it goes from the neck through my arm down here. So where it acted the neck, uh, it goes through the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist. If in these junctions, the nerve uh, it's like a rope and the rope should slide freely. Imagine if it's getting caught. Instead of sliding, they will create some tension and this could create some nerve symptoms. There are mainly two types. One we call a floss or a slider. So kind of like a floss, when we pull one side, we're gonna let go the other side. And then when we pull this side, we're gonna let go the other side. We'll call that slider. Now imagine you got a string. If you pull both then, that's what we call a tensioner. There are three main nerves in the arm that we could stretch or slide. So the first one I would like to talk about is called the median nerve. It runs from the neck, goes through the shoulder, through the arm, in the middle, and goes to these three fingers. If it has issue, it could actually cause you carpal tunnel syndrome. So we'll do the slider first, okay? So I would like you to imagine uh, we, we, we talk about being like a magician or something. So if I hold like a pigeon in my arm and I want you to imagine got a pigeon here and I want you to look at the pigeon and I want you to release the pigeon. So as you go up, your arm could go up a bit. You're going to look at the pigeon and you're going to slowly come down. At this point, you'll probably feel a little bit tension in here. Okay. You're going to come back here and catch another pigeon. Do this very slowly and gently. If you, could only go to that point without being fully straight and you feel the tension, just back it up, okay? So we could either straighten the elbow and also if you extend your wrist, you'll feel more. You just don't wanna set up some zinging or pins and needle. So the theory behind this is when I'm here, when my arm is stretched out, I'm actually stretching this end of the nerve. When I turn this way, I slacked off this end of the nerve. When I come back here to catch the new pigeon, I'm actually tensioning my nerve here, but actually slacking off here. I will usually do these very gently. You could do about 10 repetitions and do that about twice a day. So if you do well with this slider, then we could go to the tensioner or the stretch. So basically we are going to do the reverse of what we just did. So you know how we're looking at the pigeon? So now I want you to imagine you're gonna still keep the pigeon in your hand, but you're gonna look away. So as you go, you're gonna turn away and stretch out the arm. And this time you'll probably feel quite a bit of stretch, okay? I'm gonna come down and come back to the starting position here. So that's the tensioner. We would normally do the slider to make sure you're good before you do the tensioner. Now, when you first start the tensioner, make sure you do it very gently. Again, I don't want to see any pins and needles. I don't wanna see any shooting pain at all. That means you're stretching the nerves too much. So the next one we will talk about is called the radial nerve. Radial nerve runs from the neck down through the shoulder, through the back of your arm, usually goes to your thumb or index finger. So here we will again do the slider and then the tensioner. So here I want you to try to imagine you're getting like a, we call a waiter's tip. So while you're here, I want you to bend your arm here and see if you're gonna get a tip from the customer. So you gotta bend up your wrist here by looking this way a little bit. And then I want you to catch it. So as you bend up, you'll feel some tension here and just keep your neck there. And then pretend that when they're not looking, you're gonna put it in your pocket. So I'm gonna turn my hand this way, go into my pocket, but turning your neck away. So the same principle here, when we're bending our wrist, we're tightening this end. When I turn this way, we've slacked off this end. When we do the opposite, when you put into the pocket, we slack off this end. And if your head is turned away, then we're tensioning there. So the same principle applies. Do five second hold, do it very gently. Make sure you don't have any, have any more nerve signs. So for the tensioner, we will do the opposite. So we were going like this and looking this way. So I'm gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna stick out my hand to get the tip, but I'm gonna look away first. And as you do that, you can move your arm up a bit. You'll get more tension there. And then while you're looking away, you're stretching here. You're gonna go the opposite, kind of put it in your pocket, but turn back this way. So that's the tensioner. The third nerve we will talk about is called the ulnar nerve. It goes from the neck again, but this time it goes kind of in the bottom part of our arm 
runs to your pinky finger here mostly okay so again we will do the slider and then the tensioner so pretend that you are a waiter uh, and i want you to hold the plate this way so you're gonna put my palm up towards the sky turn the finger towards you and a lot of time you start to feel there is a tension in your pinky there okay so i'm gonna carry the tray of my food so i want you to imagine you're gonna look at the plate of your food and then you're gonna being a bad waiter so they're gonna dump it going that way and come back here catch another plate of food and come back to the starting position okay so the same principle here you're gonna when you bend here you're tightening up this end but when i look this way i slack off the neck and as you dump which i actually want you to do a little bit more slower like this and when you come back here to catch it you slack off the bottom end but you're tightening up this way and come back to the starting position so again for tension i'm going to do the opposite so instead of looking at your food when you start you want i want you to look away and then dump it so at this point you'll probably feel quite a bit of tension and then you're going to come back and start so for these nerve mobility exercises i want you to do them gently slowly we do about 10 repetitions only about two to three times a day okay so the most important things that i talked about is don't 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 go too hard, don't go too harsh. And also you don't wanna trigger off any nerve, either in the neck or in the distal part of your hand. You don't want that to happen. So we do also have nerve mobility exercises for our lower leg. Our leg has nerves in the front, in the inside, and in the back. So the most common one that I find I having issue is your sciatic nerve. So I'll demonstrate the location of it. So basically we have nerve that acted from your back goes all the way down through the back of your thigh, through the back of your calf, and goes to your foot. That is the general chain of the sciatic nerve. The other less likely troubled nerve we have is the femoral nerve, which is in the front. Uh, it goes from our lower back and goes to the front of our thigh. Uh, but clinically, I don't find that's a very common nerve that have issue. So for the leg, we do have also the tensioner and also the slider. I will demonstrate them. So if you sit in a chair, uh, likely if you can, make sure you have a chair that has a back, that you can lean your back on. So if you imagine, we talk about a sciatic nerve going from the back through the bum, back of the thigh, go to the back of the calf, into the foot. So I want you to imagine uh, you have a stick and the stick goes from your top of your foot uh, to your chin. So basically as I kick out my leg, bend it this way, the stick is going to push my neck. So I actually look up this way. And then so when my head comes down, I'm going to come back and rest it down. So the principle again here, when you kick it out, bend it towards you, you are tensioning, you're tightening this end. But when I look up, you slack off the tension on the spinal cord. And the opposite apply when I look down. And if you slouch a little bit, actually, you're tightening up the top part. But as I bend my leg, you slack off there. So we'll go like this again. So we're gonna go slowly up, kick it up. I mean, bring your foot to you and look up. You hold for five second hold. And I want you to go slowly down. If you could do it, to go a little bit more, just feel a bit of tension there. So that's the side nerve slider. So when you get better, you could do the tensioner, which means we're gonna do the opposite again here. So this time, when you straighten your knee, bend your foot to you, you're gonna go down and you're gonna feel a pull from both ends. And I'm gonna do the opposite by relaxing it and straightening up, okay? So here we go again. Kick up, look down, feel the tension, and come on back up. Now I find if your symptom is very strong, uh, most likely you could just do the lower half and forget the top. So sitting here, I could actually just straighten my knee bend my foot towards me, I will likely already feel a lot of tension. If I slouch down a little bit, it might make it easier. If I sit tall and try to kick it, you will feel quite strong. So again, like the arms, you don't want to cause any shooting, any pins and needle, any other nerve symptoms when you do these, okay? We'll do them gently, five second hold, 10 repetitions, about two to three times a day.